Well, today we've uh, approved our budget for 24-25, which uh, really is demonstrating delivering investment in our services uh, for our residents and our businesses. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank all our staff uh, and, uh, you know, right across the council for their tremendous effort and support uh, in delivering services and for helping develop this budget. Well, what's important from this budget today that we've adopted is that we've approved an additional 81, over 81 million pounds worth of further investment. And that's primarily in our social care, which is in adults and in children's, as well as improving our, our investment in our highways and infrastructure. I have to say there are no cuts in those services. We have 15.7 million worth of efficiency savings. Not all of those are from this year, they're from previous budgets. Uh, and all of those are efficiency savings. And if our residents look at that detail, they will see that these efficiencies just actually demonstrate our investment in services and is a natural outcome. Yeah, so going forward at this year, we do have gaps in our medium term financial strategy. Uh, we will now, from Monday, be working on how we address those balances. Uh, but we are a council that's in a good financial position. We do have challenges. We do have resilient reserves. But all our efforts now will be ensuring that our budgets for future years focus on our council plan, which are the four priorities underpinned by protecting our environment. Well, there's a, a lot of pressures coming through the system this year. It's been a challenging, even more challenging year than usual. Um, we've had to put in an additional £82 million into our budget for 24-25, of which £28 million is for, to cover pay and price inflation, and £54 million is to cover uh, service pressures. Predominantly, those service pressures are in social care, such as children's and adult cares, but there are also pressures in, in highways and other areas. We've had a long year because we started last July with a £45 million gap, so all our staff have worked extremely hard to get that down to be able to balance the budget. Uh, and as the leader has said, uh, we've done that with only £15.7 million of efficiency savings, and they are efficiency savings, they are not cuts. So uh, we've managed to balance the budget. I would add that we were able to balance the budget uh, at the last minute because the, uh, Michael Gove, the Secretary of State, announced £500 million worth of additional social care funding last week and uh, West Sussex's share of that is £6.9 million. So that enabled us to close that gap of three point, the final gap of £3.6 million. The additional 3.3 that we're left with, we have put into the budget, but we will decide how we spend that uh, in the first quarter of next year because we didn't have time to allocate it. The funding came through so late. But what I'd like to be quite clear about is that we are not putting money, any of this additional funding, back into our reserves. Because we've got the additional funding, we no longer have to draw that money down from our reserves. So that is very important. Uh, our council tax uh, decision for next year is that we have, unfortunately, we are having to increase our council tax once again by the maximum amount, which is 4.99%. We have to do that because the, the core funding that the government give us is assessed on the fact that we will raise council tax by the maximum amount. The 4.99% is made up of 2.99% for core services and 2% for adult social care precept. Now, we don't like having to raise council tax because we appreciate the present cost of living situation most people are in. But as it's part of our core funding, we need, we need that money to protect our frontline services. A council tax of 4.99% represents a weekly increase for a band D taxpayer of £1.57 per week.